My name is Angela, and I'm a lead solutions architect and streaming subject matter expert here at Databricks. I'm going to talk about why Databricks is the best place to build data pipelines for streaming use cases. In the last few years, we have seen an explosion of real-time data. This data is constantly being generated by every individual, machine, and organization. There are business transactions and operational systems, customer and partner interactions on the web, third-party data services in the cloud, and IoT data generated by sensors and devices. Even while sitting and watching this video, you're generating data. Real-time data is everywhere. All this real-time data creates new opportunities to build innovative applications that do things like detect fraud, provide personalized offers to customers, dynamically adjust pricing in real time, predict when a machine or part is going to fail, and much more. But Implementing streaming has historically been really hard for most organizations. There have mainly been three challenges. It involves learning new languages and new APIs associated with specialized technologies and data platforms. This makes it extremely difficult for existing data practitioners to work with streaming data using the tools and languages they already know. It involves building complex operational tooling and stitching together different services to perform tasks such as monitoring and data quality testing, recovery and restart from failure, infrastructure scaling, and more. This makes it incredibly difficult to deploy and maintain trusted, reliable, and efficient data streaming pipelines in your production environment. Finally, real-time data is typically in a separate system from historical data, which makes it really hard to govern and share data consistently in one place. That's where Spark Structured Streaming comes in. It lets you build streaming pipelines using the same APIs and tools you already use for Batch, so there's no need to learn a new system or manage two separate stacks. It's production ready, with built-in fault tolerance and exactly once guarantees. And now, with real-time mode, Spark Structured Streaming can deliver sub-100 millisecond latencies, making it possible to power operational use cases where milliseconds matter. It also supports rich stateful operations like joins, aggregations, and even per-key custom logic, all with watermarking to manage state efficiently. Spark Structured Streaming gives you the right foundation, and Databricks is the best place to run it in production. With Lakeflow, Databricks provides an optimized Spark runtime with Photon and real-time mode for sub-second latency, all as part of a fully managed, serverless platform that handles auto-scaling, fault recovery, and infrastructure for you. It's deeply integrated with Unity Catalog, so your streaming data is governed the same way as your batch data, with consistent security, lineage, and audit controls across all workloads. And with Lakeflow declarative pipelines, you get built-in orchestration, testing, and monitoring. No need to stitch together tools for reliability or observability. It's everything you need to build, deploy, and operate real-time pipelines with the power of Spark and the simplicity of a fully managed platform. Today, thousands of organizations are building streaming data applications on the Databricks Data Intelligence platform, from financial services and retail to manufacturing, healthcare, and more. And it's not just validated by customers. Independent analysts agree. Databricks was named the leader of leaders in both the 2024 IDC Marketscape for Worldwide Analytic Stream Processing, as well as the 2025 ISG Provider Lens for Streaming Data Platforms. Whether you're detecting fraud in real time, powering personalized customer experiences, or enabling AI on fresh data, Databricks is the proven platform for streaming at scale. Now, let me show you why Databricks is the best place to run streaming pipelines. Here, you can see a running pipeline in the IDE for Databricks Engineering. We already pulled in data from multiple sources using Lakeflow Connect. Now, this pipeline is taking that data cleansing it, and transforming it for downstream consumption. You actually don't need to know anything about streaming in order to get started. Are you more familiar with SQL, but want to do incremental data processing that automatically keeps track of where it left off? This code here declares a new table, incrementally pulls in raw data, checks for valid values, and then drops invalid rows. All you had to do was declare the logic and not worry about how it was gonna be executed. Are you already familiar with Spark Structured Streaming? Then you'll recognize this code. Here, we're pulling in two tables and doing a stream static join. Notice all we had to do was declare the logic and return a streaming data frame. 
That's it. No checkpoint, no write stream call. This is the beauty of declarative programming. Even your most complex use cases can be implemented. Yes, this is an arbitrary stateful operations call running inside Lakeflow declarative pipelines. This pipeline is powered by structured streaming, so you automatically get the fault tolerance at exactly once guarantee. Notice the DAG running here on the right. Lakeflow declarative pipelines automatically detects the dependencies between your tables and shows you the lineage of your data. You can click on any of the tables to see sample data and custom metrics for that table. All of your tables will automatically be created inside the UC catalog and schema that you declare once, and they will be managed just like all the other assets inside Databricks. You can also, if you choose, put each table in a different catalog and schema when you declare them. It is up to you. You also don't need to manage your compute. Just pick serverless and it is all done for you. It even includes an optimized auto-scaling algorithm that automatically detects spiky workloads and behaves accordingly, scaling down during periods of low activity and scaling up to handle bursts of data. The event log captures all the information you need to monitor your pipeline including backlog metrics, processing time, and even quality metrics if you use expectations. When you publish your event log to Unity Catalog, you can create custom AI BI dashboards to centralize the monitoring of all your pipelines. No need to spin up and maintain an external tool. Now remember, Spark Structured Streaming has unified streaming and batch. Say that you no longer want to run this pipeline as a streaming pipeline continuously. You want a batch pipeline instead. Just click one button and set up any schedule you want in Lakeflow jobs. That's it. Now you have a batch pipeline. No coding changes required. Do you already have Spark structured streaming jobs and don't want to change any code? Databricks is the best place to run Spark structured streaming. Just deploy them as Lakeflow jobs. You get all the benefits, the governance, security, and lineage of UC, the performance, of Photon, and the orchestration of Lakeflow jobs. In addition, you get the expertise of some of the top contributors to Spark Structured Streaming when you run your streaming pipelines on Databricks. Here are the three points I want you to take away from this video. First, Databricks makes it easy to build real-time pipelines using the same tools and APIs you already use for Batch. No need to learn a new system or manage separate stacks. Second, with real-time mode, photon, and serverless execution, you can now achieve sub-100 millisecond latency at scale, unlocking a whole new class of streaming applications. And third, you can operate with confidence thanks to built-in governance, orchestration, and monitoring with Lakeflow. Are you ready to simplify and scale your streaming pipelines? Head over to databricks.com Lakeflow to get started. Thank you.